this is um, compartmentalizing PDF and video. So I don't know, uh, last week there has been a release by the Citizen Lab about video content that is not encrypted being targeted by man in the middle who would change your FL video, video about the cute cat and install some other uh, injector Trojan into the video screen and then your own. Um, and a few months before that, um, I tried to play, or I, I played a little bit with, um, with a minimal um, Unix system. Like I want to go, like I'm really pissed about system D and its complexity and how, how Linux sucks nowadays. Um, and I wanted to go back to the, to the basics, so I, I started to play with a Linux system that is called Alpine Linux, which is a really minimal Linux, but has very sensible defaults, I think. Like it comes with GL security by default. It does not have glibc, but comes with an alternative libc implementation that is called Muzzle and, and uh, Alpine Linux. The disk was called Alpine Linux. And um, um, the fact that they're using Muzzle as a libc means that there will be no system be on this system because it needs to be compatible with uh, glibc and there's no glibc. So this is really cool. Um, and so I played with this uh, system and I remembered my old days in the 90s where we used frame buffers for all kinds of stuff and I said, oh, let's try this out, does it still work? I want to get rid of X11 as well. You know, there was this talk at the last congress about, was it the congress? About this X11 um, bug fest that is X11 and so like, how, what, let's, let's avoid using X altogether and is there a way to read PDFs, you know, one of the prime vectors? I think there might, might be a talk about PDFs today, later on. Um, and, and this other thing that always worried me is um, injecting malware into my porn. Um, so, so videos should also be somehow compartmentalized. And um, so I looked at KVM and virtual machines, and, and in the end I came up with a very small uh, image that does both. The image is like 150 megabytes big, still quite big, but it can be reused, I guess, more. But M player has, to, uh, has so many dependencies that it, it's unavoidable to go beyond that. And so, no, this one, this one, this one. Um, let's go to, let's have a look at this nice data sheet. script that I wrote and it uh, simply starts a <coughs> virtual machine snapshot that is reading and checking if anything is mountable on the CD-ROM, if there is, then it checks if there's a file input file, if there is, then it displays the PDFs that are in there, that's all. Um, and I think it's pretty amazing to see how amazingly fast this is. Um, so. Yes, um, and this is running in a frame buffer. <coughs> oh. oh yes, this is the video viewer, not the PDF. <coughs> Shit, sorry. So, but opening a 1,500 uh, pages PDF this fast, wow. I think is pretty wow. amazing. Wow. And it's in a, it's in a virtual machine. The virtual machine takes like, uh, you can see the size of this this uh, document, right? Uh, it's running in a virtual machine, it's running in a frame buffer, so the attack vectors are quite different to what you're used to when you're looking at PDFs normally. Um, this one is released for a long time, you can download the image, and basically then afterwards you can maintain the image yourself. You have to update the image and then do a new snapshot with the updated image. Can you go down very fast in the PDF? Um, and the playing of videos does work as well. 
but uh, my system is a bit old, so I cannot do full screen video we watching with the uh, compartment, unfortunately. <coughs> Does the sound work? Yes, the sound works. Um, That's important for porn. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. So I don't know what this will be. All the dialogue. What? Yeah. This is okay. So come on. Another video then. Damn you. Okay. So I had four presentations so far and two bucks. So that's a good. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 50-50 chance. Yeah. Um, blah, what should we do? Richard Solomon. Yeah, Solomon too. I hope he's singing the free song. <laughs> uh, hi, hello. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Um, full screen? Full screen mode? Is there full screen mode? No, this is not full screen because my system is too small or too, too slow for this. In frame buffer without. Uh, video acceleration. Um, oh, you might play. I don't have uh, amplification speakers for this, but it is. So basically, compartmentalized video and video viewing. So whoever wants to, like the guy <coughs> today who's talking about PDF exploits, wants to do that with me, um, I guess um, the price is a bit higher than for normal exploits because you have to escape the virtual machine as well. And actually I've done a little research into virtual machine escape uh, prices and vulnerabilities and there's not very much published. So there was like this frenzy of research into escaping a virtual machine like two or three years ago and the Utkovskaya and the blue pill thing and, and stuff like that. But since then, there's not much really published. So I think uh, in the underground there might be, I think the prices might be pretty high. <coughs> I think I would guess at least 200,000 or something. But they're not even, uh, there's no competitions where you can see or any prices uh, written. So uh, I think research has not stopped. But. Um, where well, Rutkos has started developing her own OS, maybe from a government grant. So basically, uh, this is it. Uh, this is not on my GitHub account because GitHub doesn't host virtual images. Um, um, if anyone is interested in this, I, I can give you a URL. Um, basically, uh, what is it? I think this is the URL. Please? Uh, have you tried rendering some, uh, you know, complex Adobe shit like uh, ray tracing, 3D graphics in PDFs, I forms? No, uh, no, no, no. This is a very basic framework display. It doesn't do any JavaScript or any uh, sophisticated PDF feature. This is, this is just for basic. Uh, I have some samples maybe we should try. Please. Please, let's do this during the deep trunk and debugger thing. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you missed a Romeo in front of the first Sierra? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Thank you.